living dangerously. I like this idea of the secret invasion that's happening in right now. All the Geodudes and the Zubats are like, no, Geodudes, don't do it. Dude. And Geodudes like, look, you guys don't even understand. There we go. You this don't get locked on. Because we're going to need Pikachu for Misty, you know? I guess. we got to think ahead. I hate Misty. What's that guy doing? He's studying rocks. He's oh. a geologist. Okay. But the rocks are Geodudes, and they're not very happy about <laughs> it. It's really tough to get a, a bead on how long they've been there because they just move. Can you catch a Clefairy here? Uh, whoa. Somewhere? Okay. Yeah, whatever. Wow. Can yeah. you call Brock here? Can he join us? Yeah. Along with Misty? Can you tell Brock to come here so we can pelvic thrust on him? Yeah, please. Because he really should have beaten us with that underleveled team we had, but he didn't. He didn't. Are you not going to fight her? I think I'm stumbling in the right direction. I think you are. <laughs> Means I missed the bottom right corner. Whatever. Whatever. No, oh, dude, stop it. <laughs> Look, you have your army. It's fine. We don't care. Are you going to fight her? Look, you just... Oh, oh great. Oh, my. Dancing in place triggers encounters. Thanks a lot. God, the encounter rates of these games are really <sighs> too high. Uh, right. <laughs> I wish you could lower them. Like in Bravely Default. I just... Every, every cave area is annoying to me. I like the outside areas because if you want to dip around, you can, you know, jump in the grass. And if you don't, you just walk on the path. Here, yeah. everything is the grass. Yeah. Nothing is not grass. Okay. <laughs> okay. That does not help dispel the notion that you're a whore. No. God. Like, that skirt is fractions of an inch away from being extraordinarily inappropriate. And what is that name? Miriam is an old woman's name. And we have the perfect answer for this, so... And the perfect answer for this is Mankey. You dead. This will do one. Oh, two. two. You drained my energy. Prepare to die. Look, all you drained are some of the calories. He needs to lose some weight anyways. Oh, good. No annoying powders or anything. Just absorb. And I know what you're thinking. Just because we named him fat doesn't mean he's fat. No, he's actually quite skinny. Why do you think we named him fat, though? So. I'm giving him time to think. Because he's fat is the answer. Oh, okay. Yeah. I hope that's the answer you went with, guys, because otherwise you're wrong. Yeah. Blossom. Oh, the hell with it. Bells. Oh, God, it's disgusting. <laughs> it's like it's like you just pulled the weed and it's slowly dying on the surface. It's like a fish out of water. You remember that time that Bellsprout almost destroyed Ash's entire team at the Pokemon League? No, I don't. That sounds disgusting. I think it just I think it beat Pikachu and then I think for some reason Ash had a muck. I I don't I don't remember. I, Ash did have a muck for sure. I I feel like I like what Bellsprout evolves into. No, no I don't. No, <laughs> at no point do I like that. That is Victory Bell. Yeah. Alright, quick attack, good. I had a vile plume one time. Vile plume. That was pretty cool. No, uh, you're going the, wrong, the right way again. That's fine. I'm not going to explore this entire area. Oh, okay. Not with a team like this. Later on in the caves, we'll probably do that. But here, I just want to get out of here. Look, there's probably not going to be anything that valuable except Moonstone and Potions. And Moonstone. And we don't really need Moonstone. No. Unless we want to make a Wigglytuff. And we don't really need Potions. And we don't really need Potions. Wigglytuff... Even more horrific than Jigglypuff. Yeah, I agree. It's just the worst. It's not even close. Ooh. So, this is not the right way then. I don't remember this place that well, to be honest. How do you know it's not the right way? I don't know. We're going to find out, though. Maybe it is the right way. Okay. Maybe we can use Zubat as a guide. You know? Go on. Hey, Zubat. How do you... Oh, okay. Uh. 
Well, you, bet, you have like sonar. Thanks for that, Pikachu. Well, yeah. But Let's now take a we, look. No, we can't know. Oh, we're in Mount Moon. Turns out, okay. Oh God. Up, uh, up. Oh. Starting to look like the. Ro no, wait. This might just be an item. Either this Whoa. goes after the fossils, or. Uh, look, sir. You have some sinister music. Uh, I don't. I'm just trying to find my way out, honest to God. By uh, far, one of the weakest things about this version is no team-specific music. Yeah. Because it's always good. Except here. Right. We're Where five for anything. five on the other generations about good other team music, but here there's nothing. <laughs> like how he's just ducks. Whee! Don't Whee! do this. Ah. Uh, oh, no. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, we can't afford to hit ourselves again. No. Well. At least it stops as soon as you switch them out. See you later, Pika Banana. Look, Team Rocket, I know. Your outfits are very cute. I'm sure you guys have great cheerleaders. Cheerleader competitions. <laughs> there we go. Much better. Get out of here, you stupid. That's why I wanted to keep him alive. Get that level. Mmm, speed. Again. I mean, uh, Trist no. Tristan has no bad feelings towards Team Rocket. You know? Yeah, it's... She would, she would defend them in court. I mean, you gotta get paid somehow. Yeah, they're just... You know, they're, they're an ideology. They're like a cult. It's like Scientology and Team Rocket are basically the same group. So who's the Tom Cruise of Team Rocket? Um, Let's see. It can't be... What's the main guy's name? Giovanni. Can't be Giovanni because he's too secretive. Okay. I think it's Jesse. Aren't Jesse and James in the yellow? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they show up all the time. I only know that from seeing it and reading it. I never played Yellow. That's kind of cool. I did. I enjoyed Yellow. Okay, Yano. good. I was right. Whew. Thief. What? God. I don't even remember that as a move. It's a dark type 40 power. Steals the item if your opponent's holding it. It actually well. came in handy in Gen 6. I gave it to my Caesar and I used it to steal heart scales so I could teach old moves. Oh. Well. It was like the place where you can find, uh, oh God, what's the heart-shaped water type thing? Oh, Love Disc? Yeah. Please don't speak of Love Disc. You can find those on the beach, and you can just steal heart scales from them. Yes, very good. Uh, does it do us any good to teach one of our Pokemon a Dark 40-type move? Not really. Okay. I mean, it's just so low power. I'm sure someone can learn it. Here we go. I'm half expecting these walls to break. No, we didn't. Uh, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm not exploring unless you mean trying to find an exit, and then yes. Yeah. Feeling around desperately for some respite in this awful cave, so maybe. God, you know what I'm not going to like when we have to use Flash? Yeah. <laughs> Why would you say that? I've actually done a dungeon before in Pokemon where I refused to teach a Pokemon Flash, so I just wandered around with that small circle. <laughs> And it was awful. It was as awful as it sounds. I mean, you know, Twitch plays Pokemon had to do it that way because there was no way they were going to manage to teach somebody Flash. I think they threw that TM on the ground anyways. Yeah. It wasn't an HM until Gold Silver, I don't think. Which is kind of weird when you think about it. I mean, you don't need Flash to get through that cave, but it damn sure is helpful. Yeah, you're going to teach one Pokemon Flash and God help you if you don't want him in your team anymore. Right, or Nuzlocke. Oh, yeah, right. God help you if nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> well, Which we're totally still doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way. Now, you might be wondering why uh, everyone except Charmander hasn't been released, and the answer to that is that was that was for plays. That wasn't for real, real. Yeah, that, I mean, well, you thought they fainted. They didn't, though. Yeah, that was just an editing mistake. They feigned their death. It was actually a very advanced strategy. That was good music, dude. Oh, I thought that's what the Zubat was going to say when he popped out, because the timing <laughs> was right about then.
The Zubats sing a lovely song. They're like the voices of angels. When you go pretty deep into Mount Moon, you kind of get like their choir. It's pretty cool. Which is weird because they're not supposed to be the good ones. You know, it's supposed to be Jigglypuff or Clefairy. Yeah, but that's just societal perception because as we heard already, Clefairy is like, makes your ears bleed. So basically Clefairy and Jigglypuff are like the post-processed singers, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Whoa! Clefairy's like... Zubat, oh yeah, so you're gonna what, beat me now? I know. Oh, I'm in good shape then. Yeah. Ugh. I'm gonna show you when I leave your Pokemon for dead and then slit your throat. Okay, hardcore. Yeah, she's getting a little bit, she does not like caves. She gets a little claustrophobic. That's true, who doesn't get a little annoyed by the end of this place? Well, she's also getting a little bit annoyed that she wanted her Pokemon journey to end before it started, and yet here she is still. And there's no end in sight. Yeah. And no one's listening to her. No, yeah. She doesn't know if it's because she's a kid or a girl. Or nobody or understands English and Kanto. Or a Pokemon trainer or all of those things combined. Yeah, when you don't know what the indigenous language is, that's not a good sign. I do kind of like the idea of either her not understanding everyone else or everyone else not understanding her or both. Yeah. She's just desperately trying to get directions or help. And nobody's there for her. You know, maybe she thinks she's saying these things, but there's no proof. Like what you and I say she says, maybe she's just saying in her head. <laughs> she's maybe getting a little bit crazy then. Or nobody's listening. Oh, yeah, I forgot we had that move. Yeah, I did too. Well, he's dead. Ooh. Oh, that did not do a lot. I mean, good defenses, obviously, but I figured it would at least do half. Medical's like 55 power. Here's the thing. The Zubats are all like Celine Dion. Okay. Okay. And they actually sing My Heart Will Go On, which is kind of uh, kind of weird. But in Zubatties. But in Zubatties, of course. And Clefairy is like Britney Spears. So good beat, but not a good voice. God. I keep waiting for Onyxes to have Rock Throw, and they haven't yet. All right, let's try it. Starting to get a little wo uh, wounded here, you know? Yeah. Level 10. I think it learns the Brock Throw by level 10. You know, it was frustrating, but back in the day... Oh! Ooh! Back in the day, you got a sense of accomplishment when you got through these caves. Which, like, you don't really get now. Now it's so easy. Yeah, I don't think I miss it, though. I mean, part of me does. I, I mean, don't have as much time as I used to, though, when right. I was a kid. I miss the idea of it, but I don't miss the execution. Before, when I would play a game for 250 hours, it was like, yes, I got my money's worth, and now it's like, I don't have that kind of time. Are you kidding? Hmm. Soon. Maybe if I got soon, I'll have that kind of time? What are you trying to, am I going to get fired? No, soon it'll be evolving. Oh. I thought you knew something you didn't know about my job. I mean, I do, but I don't <laughs> want to tell you, so sorry. <laughs> Eat this potion. <laughs> Ooh. We should probably buy some more potions. Yeah, we're gonna need to. Also, Pika Banana's gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. That's level 12. He's doing pretty good. No, I don't want him there either. You. Confusion. Oh, item. I see it. Oh, good. <sighs> we can sell it. Moony Moonstone. No, so close. Uh, I don't even have, well, I guess I, I was smart about this. I forgot. I do have something that'll still hit him for super effective. It probably won't one shot it, though. Ah. Uh, woo. All right. That's the power of Butterfree. Okay. That's <laughs> more of the power. And that's see you in hell. Yay. It's just mine. You don't even know, man. I, love I could probably check these rocks for something, but screw what? it. Uh, it's probably gonna be like Gucci. Yeah. What? Gross. Oh, Ew. Step one, on it. One of the weirdest cries in the game. Oh god. I feel like it gets worse as Parasect, doesn't it? Doesn't it like? My <laughs> god, I have no recollection. Uh, the other day, Michelle and I, the other day, this was probably a good six months ago. We uh, <laughs> oh. went. We tried to name all 150 Pokemon uh -huh. from our heads. And I think we got all of them except 
Paras and Parasect. <laughs> that was it. It's the only ones we missed. So that's how memorable these guys are. I did one of those on Sporkle a couple of years ago, and I think I got them all. Yeah. But there were a couple, and I think Paris might have been one of them that I struggled with. Yeah, and I don't remember the other ones I struggled with, which is probably the reason I struggled with them in the first place. But there were three or four that I just was never going to get on my own. But still, I mean, God, what a useless information that I know. 150 Pokemon, I can almost name them all by memory. It's terrible. I don't even, I can't even name you all the U.S. presidents. <laughs> yeah, neither can I. <laughs> I don't even know if I can get more than about half. Yeah, it's no way. we revive. That could be useful. I mean, like, I, I mean, like Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin. Um, Abraham Lincoln definitely was a president. I think that's a thing. Uh, uh, not I, this. I, I, Barack Obama was a president. He was. But by the time this video airs, he won't be. You're right. George Bush, George W. Bush. Oh. No. I'm sorry. I, I, I promise I was never going to bring up George Bush again. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> All he does is stun spore. It's the only thing he knows. No, he's level 12. See? Okay. That's all he knows. He's proving you wrong. Maybe we mind freaked an encore onto him without him knowing. Exactly. He's like, I'll show you that I can't do anything. Look at that, though. That's a good experience. Well, that's why I stuck with it, even though I didn't want to, because I knew that was going to happen. Okay, so now he's 12. So who's falling behind here? You mean uh, besides Mankey? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, he's... Oh, please, guys. I can really do it. Yeah, other than him. Okay. I like this idea of him being in our party all the way through the Elite Four, but only ever, like, level four. Imagine Lance's surprise when we hit him with one of those. Yeah, he just, he wants so badly to vindicate. I don't know, vindicate. Prove himself. Vindicated. <laughs> I think we're in line to get... Bite soon and then Hyper Fang? Is that how this works? I don't I, remember. I don't know if I've ever. One of the reasons I'm kind of okay with you doing this is I've never trained a Raditz Tad to whatever. <laughs> I think I used him early game in both Red, my second playthrough, and then Gold. Because you could get a few from it. Like I had a Geo dude in Gold too, because they got Magnitude pretty early on, which was pretty cool. Mm. Oh, oh look at you. Uh, we are not in the best shape, but Dragon we're not face. in the worst. He's level 15 already. I know, but we you have just to talked be sure. about like getting people to catch up, and I want to use Dragon Face. Just on Team Rocket, like we don't know these guys look suspicious. Sir, do you know where I am? Yeah, I just if you could, you look. You're being a little immature, right? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this be very evasive. I wasn't messing around. I just. <laughs> I like the idea that he knew I was there the whole time. He's <laughs> just like, oh god, is she still? Yeah, she's still there. Turn away. Turn What's away. wrong with you people? <laughs> okay, your rat tat versus my rat tat. Oh my god, can we even take one hit? Probably. We're gonna have to try. Uh -huh. Gonna have to try. Please God. Uh -huh. Oh, Nuzlocke. Later, Buck Teeth. <laughs> now it's real. Cause you did. We could revive him. No. It seems like an awful waste of a revive. No, no. Oh, I should use quick attack. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, we need a quick attack because, well, first of all, let's do this one. There we go. That should kill. Okay. Just, man, hit me like a truck. That was a vicious little thing. Right? Sand Shrew. We really have nothing for Sand What about metal? Metal's not super effective against And plus Sand Shrew you don't want. Right. So, yeah. I don't know if it has any ground moves yet, but let's not do that. Confusion! Alright. This isn't confusion! If all it still has is Scratch, let's see what happens. I think we can three-shot it. Oh, God! Isn't flying super effective against ground? Oh, God, isn't what? Uh, flying? No. Like gust? No. That's stupid. All these things in my head make sense. Okay, that's not going to help you anymore. Thank goodness. Also, apparently he doesn't learn all the status things at 12 in this generation. I know he does now, because he already is 12, and he didn't learn them. Right. What are we going to take, anyways? Stun Spore is not 100% paralysis, is it? 
I don't know. Do, now, do you think... Maybe it is. Would you, would you like it more or worse, in general, if Pokemon could get afflicted with more than one status thing at a time? I don't know. The balance would be interesting to see how it worked. Yeah. It seems a little miserable to put something to sleep and then paralyze it and then poison it. <laughs> and then... Seems awesome. <laughs> He's steamed. What are we well, going to do? So, does that mean you're not going to help me with... <laughs> okay. Okay, all right. Well, he's crazy, and I'm leaving. Oh, my God. This path is so long. You're very near the end, though. I remember this now. 